Hi guys, it's Megan Lynn here from MeganLynnArt.com and for today's video I decided to do something a little bit different because I have been getting a few questions about how I create my acrylic poured paintings. I know there's tons of tutorials out there so I'll try to be pretty quick and just basically cover how I do things. I know in a lot of my other videos you'll see me do uh, 12 by 12 inch canvases. In this video, however, I had a commission to do two 16 by 40 inch pieces. So you'll notice that my um, there's quite a few more cups than I would normally use. There's 10 cups here, which means I'm using five flip cups per canvas. So what I did was I grabbed, you can see the full quart container in my hand there the, with the red. Uh, I used three different full quart containers, one for the red, one for the white, and one for the black. Um, how I mix my paints is I create my own pouring medium, and what a pouring medium does is it mix with, mixes with the acrylic paint to help it move easier on the canvas, as well as create a proper um, bonding agent so you don't end up with things like flakes. Uh, you don't, your paint doesn't flake, it sticks properly to the canvas, it holds well together. So my pouring mediums, um, I make them myself. In a, in a few future videos, you'll see me do a couple with um, pre-bought pouring mediums. But for the ones that I mix myself, I use uh, either Elmer's Glue All or Mod Podge, and I mix three parts glue to one part water. And then for my paint mix, I take three parts paint and one part of the glue pouring medium, and then I just adjust with water as needed. Uh, I don't use much. I prefer my paints to be a little bit on the thicker side, so when I do shift my paints, um, they tend to stay on the canvas instead of just sliding right off, and then, you know, what you see when you've shifted your paint isn't necessarily what you get. So you'll notice here that I flipped all five cups over, uh, and now I'm slowly starting to lift each of the cups. In my mix, I also put silicone in the black and the red paints. I didn't put it in the white, and there's a very specific reason for that. Silicone reacts with water. And since acrylic paints are water-based paints, um, putting a little bit of silicone in two out of three of your paints will help it react a little bit better. White tends to be a heavier paint, so it naturally wants to sink down to the bottom. And as it's doing that, it goes through the other two, two colors um, and it hits the silicone on its way down, creating cells. So that's how I get my cells. And I also use a torch, which you will see. In a minute here, I'm gonna end up torching each of the puddles. Uh, and why I do that is because the torch helps remove any air bubbles. Um, it also helps uh, react with the silicone to create more cells. So you can see some of the spots coming up here now and a little bit later on you'll notice that I torch two times. So if the first time is to bring up some of the small air bubbles and bring up some of the cells and now as I'm shifting it you'll notice that the cells that I've popped up with the torch tend to get a little bit bigger. Um, you have to do it slowly because I know if you do it too quickly, you can break the walls of your cells and then it just looks like a bunch of muck running together. So a little bit later on, I'll torch again. Um, it's a little bit windy because I did this outside. So you'll notice that uh, my torch isn't working as well as it normally would inside. It's a little bit harder to control. But again, I do this to bring up uh, more of the air bubbles as well as the cells with the silicone. So I hope this helped clear up some things. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm more than willing to help out with anything that you might be interested in. I'm always learning uh, and trying new things as well. So um, please don't be afraid to ask anything or make a comment. Um, you'll notice that from the beginning, the reason I started this this YouTube channel in the first place was to document uh, my experiences as, as an artist and my learning curve, which I know is a, is a pretty big thing. Um, so go back to the beginning, watch some of the videos, see where I'm at now. Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe, uh, give us a like, leave us a comment, any interaction is welcome. Uh, and. Hopefully we'll get some more videos like this too soon. Thanks for watching.